and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another new release from Makeup Revolution. This looks to be very similar to the KKW contour kit that Kim Kardashian recently released and of course it is the Revolution cream or creme highlight and contour kit and it looks like this it looks i'm very very excited about this because you will know that recently i have tried the obsession uh, large contour powder but unfortunately that was a little bit too light now i was a little bit hesitant um which one to go for do i go for light or do i go for medium so i thought with the fact of the uh, obsession powder highlight no powder contour or powder bronzer being a little bit too light i thought i'm gonna go for medium see how i get on so today i've put on my base i've put on my eyeshadow my lipstick but i haven't put any kind of face product apart from my foundation on because of course i want to share this with you so this comes with um a brush it looks like it's a uh, brush and then a sponge but obviously we'll get into that in a moment and then you've got two products here um i've not tried it i've not looked at it even i want to do everything on camera for you um i love the packaging it's all very nude um, really love that with the rose gold font and then you've got on the back all of your ingredients and so forth now it does say that the concealer um, is 0 0.25 ounces or 7 grams of product the corrector is again um, no it's 0 0.12 ounces and 3.5 grams of product and the highlighter is 0 0.12 ounces or 3.5 grams of product um, now I think that with the KKW there was a lot of controversy with the price and also the amount of product that you got uh, with that. I don't have it. Um, I found that it was very expensive. It was all sold out anyway by the time that I even looked at it. So I like things to be easy. I like to know that if I buy a product... I can keep repurchasing it. If I like a product, I want to know that I can get it. It's readily available. So this is going to be readily available. It's easy to purchase from Tan Beauty. I don't know if this is going into super drug stores, but you know, it's Tan Beauty. I don't have any issues with them. And if I do have an issue, I contact them and their customer service is absolutely fantastic. Um, so um, I picked this up, I don't know if I've uh, said the price but I'll say it again, I picked this up for £15 from tambeauty.com, like I say that's the only uh, place at the moment that I know that you can pick it up from. So when you look at the product um, or you take the packaging out, you've got two of these, um, you know, like stick products and then you've got the brush. So let's have a look at the brush first of all. It's very tactile, it's easy, it's easy to hold, it's... Um, it feels really nice in the hand so that's a plus point I also like the fact that there are diamonds on it so that you know it's easy um, and that's what I want with a product so it's easy to hold in your hand um, it looks like it's going to be easy to apply and then this one I would say is a sponge that goes under the eye area I'm probably not going to be using that um, well we'll see I don't know yet. Um, I mean, I've already put my foundation on, so I might just put a little bit of um, product under my eye just to brighten it, see if it's going to brighten it even more. So when we look at the products, so I'll take out the first product. Um, they are, Again, I really like the packaging. I love the nude with the rose gold. I just love it. Um, I think it looks expensive. Um, I mean, for £15, you know, it's not really inexpensive, but it's also not really expensive, expensive as we know from the KKW. But really love the packaging. Um, it's a twist up product. So it twists up like that. So this one is the contour. Um, so you're getting that much of product. So that's the first one. And then the other end, again, it is that much of product that one looks slightly darker so that's the contour and then on this one so you're getting exactly the same kind of product or it looks like you know it's a stick in stick formulation and then this one is the highlight so that's the highlight and you're getting that much of product and then the other end is that one so is that 
that's the is that the concealer that looks way way too dark for me yeah that looks way way too dark but i will try it i will see what i can do with that so first of all let me just see which one was the lightest end i mean i went with medium because and again i do find online ordering very very difficult especially if you're looking for a color um you know a, a, a shade so for example whether it's foundation or it's these or lipsticks or anything like that i just cannot seem to um get a good um idea of the shades from a website um so that's why i went with medium but i think i may have made a mistake especially with the um the shade that goes under the eye but i will test it out and we will see so first of all i'm going to pop on my headband because i really don't want my hair getting in the way like that um i will try out the brush as well so again let me just find out which one is the lightest i think it's this end yeah definitely this end so this will be the lightest and then what i'm going to do um now i do find adding contour a little bit dif difficult because my face is quite round but i'm going to try my best on camera um forgive me if i get it a little bit wrong so what i'm going to do is i always put a little bit of product up here you've seen me do that with my powder goes onto the skin nicely so there's that one uh, we I mean if I have to um, deepen it up then that's fine so now I'm going to go here I'm actually quite pleased because this is looking actually better than I thought this is actually looking a little bit um, light so I'm pleased. So first of all, I'm going to pick up the brush, which I really like the feel of this. Um, it's And also I was a little bit worried about it being, it's very small, but actually it fits nicely in my hand. I really, really like it. Now what I'm going to do is, because what I don't want to do is bring it too far down here. So I'm going to just um, stipple it at the top and see how that works. We, we may, we may have to um, do the deeper shade. The only thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is that my foundation is matte. That's what I'm concerned about. And I think I might have to go in with the deeper shade, but that's worked really well. I do tend to find that putting cream onto matte sometimes it takes a little bit of working it in um, but actually it's doing a good job I'm gonna try up here now and then I think I might go in with the deeper shade obviously getting a little bit confident now That's worked really well. I'm going to definitely um, move, move on with the deeper shade. So look, I'm getting confused. That yeah, definitely that one. So this is the deeper shade. So I'm just going to go in with that, so I can say that I've tried all of the products. I'm getting a little bit more confident now by actually putting more product on. And then just stipple that in. I do like it very, very um, blended, so I might have to stipple it in and then go in with my foundation brush. But actually, it's working not too bad at all I'm gonna go over it now so that there's not too much of a line I 
Now, like I say, I've got matte foundation on. Um, so if I put any kind of cream product on, it always takes a while to work it in. I think the deeper out of the two um, has worked. Really, really like that. That's actually worked really well. I'm going to go in with the deeper shade into this area as well, just to see what that does. I do like to warm up my face quite a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And obviously I've not been very well for the last two weeks now. Um, so, you know, I like to add colour to my face <laughs> to try and make me feel a little bit more healthy. That has worked really well. I'm very, very pleased with that. Now, what I'm going to do, I just want to share something else with you. Obviously, there's no blush in here. Um, so, you know, I can't pop a blush on. But what I want to do is I want to share with you another new product. Um, now, I've actually shared this with you in Makeup Revolution form. This is I Heart Makeup. And it is the I Heart Makeup Definition um and it's in fair this was actually on sale and i've wanted this for a long time from uh superdrug but it was four pounds 99 from um tan beauty when they had their sale i don't know if the sale is still ongoing if it is i will add this down below um <clears throat> they actually had it for two pounds 50 i believe it was two pounds 50 so i picked this up and what it is is it's the um contour little contour palette um, and you get a little mirror and then you get a contour blush and a highlight the only reason I'm sharing you with this you sharing this product with you is because I'm going to uh, apply the blush today if you want me to do a separate video on it um, you know just obviously list it down below I, I need to put a blush on because I just look so pale um, so I'm just going to use my Wilco blush brush and just apply this now like I said I did have it in um, from Makeup Revolution um, but Makeup Revolution's um, blush is actually shimmery this one is matte um, and this is why I want I've wanted this for so long because it's such a beautiful um, shade exactly what I want in a blush and if Makeup Revolution could um, or I Heart Makeup bring out a blush in that colour on its own that would be absolutely amazing. So I had to add a little bit of blush. So I really wanted to share that with you before I go in with the actual highlight. And it's just such a beautiful um, blendable bra blush <laughs> even. So there is the blush on with the contour. I absolutely love the contour. I've always got a round patch there always whatever i put on my face for some reason it doesn't adhere to that side so it could be just the shape of my face i don't know what it is but in every video wherever i uh, whenever i put product on it's always missing there <clears throat> so now i want to apply a little bit of highlight now i've added that so this one actually looks very very yellow indeed so let me just swatch this one I wasn't expecting it to look quite as yellow, but actually it works very, very nicely. Love that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of this in the area that I want it. I'm not very used to um, like stick or cream formulations i usually use powder that's what i usually work with um i'm just going to get a clean what i don't want to do is i want to keep this for the contour i'm just getting a clean um foundation kabuki brush and i'm just going to which mimics that stippling brush and just blend that in a little bit. Just going to get some more. I 
I hope you can see that. That's worked really, really nicely. Now I'm going to apply it on the other side. And again, just get my stipple brush. You're not going to see it as well this side. Um, you can just pick it up, but the light always hits me from this side, so you better see it a little bit. I'm going to put some more on this side. Getting a little bit more confident. So I hope you can see that. So that's the now the highlight applied. Actually, I'm just going to put a bit down my nose. Beautiful. OK, so that's that done. Now I'm just going to have a look at that. I just think that's going to be too dark. Hmm. So it's that kind of colour. That is just too dark for me. I'm not going to put that under my eyes because I know what will happen. It will counteract any kind of yeah, any kind of brightness under there um, at all. But I'm really pleased with the contour, really pleased with how that that has worked. Um, yeah, I think I could even go a little bit darker with that contour on my forehead. I really like my forehead to be um, contoured quite a lot, actually. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on. I also really like the brush. It really does buff in the product very, very well. That's better. You can see that that is a lot more contoured. I think with cream product as well, you know, you can really, um, yeah, really can um, work it into the skin more than powder. So that, is the um, contour really like that I'd really love your thoughts have you picked this up um, and if you have what have you thought to it let me just put it all back yeah so um, like I said I picked up medium I'd really love your thoughts on this I really think that it's done a good job <laughs> um, I love the highlight on it as well that's worked. It's blended in very, very nicely. Just a shame about the um, the actual, which one is it? The concealer. That is just way, way too dark for me. Perhaps I should have gone for fair. But anyway, I'd really love your thoughts as always. And of course, if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would really, really love it if you subscribe, but I'd really love your thoughts on this. And um, also, if you want me to do a separate video on the iHeart definition from iHeart Makeup, um, obviously as well, just add that down below. But until next time, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.